Toon Academy star sold snide watches to every first team ace's side hustle. Ex-Newcastle United Academy ace Bradley Orr revealed he had a Del Boy-style side hustle of selling snide watches, and the Magpies' first teamers were his biggest customers. Fortunately, the former central defender was able to move away from the dodgy timepieces as he enjoyed a successful career playing for the likes of Bristol City and Blackburn Rovers. But during his younger years, when he was earning peanuts in the Newcastle Academy, Orr garnered himself an extra income by selling snide watches to the very first team players he was trying to displace. Of course, Orr's primary focus was trying to manufacture himself a place in Sir Bobby Robson's Premier League plans. But he was able to keep things ticking on the tune with the extra income his mysterious watches brought him. Yeah, I used to sell snide watches, Orr said to the Under the Cosh podcast. I had a fella who I've known for years, great fella, he had a shipping firm. He used to do loads of business with China, and he would come home with these catalogs that had every single watch you could think of, and he could get them. He could get the best snide watches you've ever seen in your life. I took the catalog up, and I think every single first team player used to buy them off me because I was selling the watches at the time. I was only on peanuts at the time at Newcastle, but I had this little sideline of selling snide watches to the players. What other sideline businesses have previous footballers had in the past? Let us know in the comments despite many players at St. James Park earning tens of thousands a week or struggled to keep up with the demand of his watches. It even got to the point where the Magpies players were even buying them for other people. Every single one of them used to have them and you'd see them when they're doing interviews and all that or added. Honestly, I used to sell loads of them and it was all to the first team. And they would obviously buy them for the family and stuff like that. At the time I used to see all of these first team stars giving it the big one and I would think, you've got a 100 pound watch on your wrist, turn it in.